Joining us now, Hologic CEO Stephen McMillan. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks um, for having us. So just to kick things off, what do you think are some of the key tailwinds that you're experiencing right now? You know, I, I would call it we're getting rewarded for what our team did during COVID. You know, our team showed up every single day. We invented the highly accurate molecular COVID tests. And I think that created a strength that allowed us to also place more Panther instruments, which our uh, molecular tests were run on. And now as that has gone down, our Panthers are picking up all the additional revenue from our usual businesses. So all of our women's health assays. And it also strengthened the company financially across our breast health business, our surgical business. We did a few acquisitions. We invested more in R&D. So I think now the dust is settling, and what we like to think is the cream is rising to the top. And yet you still have about $4 billion in cash or cash equivalents on the balance sheet, which I know a lot of people have questions about capital allocation. You announced the half a billion dollar uh, buyback, but um, any M&A that you're looking at doing, any kind of strategic uh, use cases for that $4 billion? Yeah, we've been very patient. What I've always thought is when you have a really strong business, and our core business just grew 15% last year, when you have a strong business, it allows you to be patient in the M&A world. And so we've been looking at a lot of things. Valuations are correcting. But frankly, with our growth rates, we need things that can be even better than that. And it makes it a little bit harder. So part of why we did the, the buyback, the $500 million announcement, is it's really an acquisition of ourselves because we actually have good due diligence on ourselves and like what we see. I wonder <laughs> if you've been entertained by the streets uh, urgency in writing playbooks on weight loss drugs. I mean, uh, impact on restaurants, impact on apparel, obviously dialysis, medical device. Yeah. Why, why do they want to jump to chapter 10? Carl, you know, you've been around this long enough to see. I think there is so much focus anymore on headlines versus core fundamentals, right? If I, I'll, I'll go off of Hologic for a second. If you look at why would orthopedic stocks take a big hit because of the GLP-1, suddenly people think, Okay, wait, there's not going to be as many knee replacements. I mean, these are years, but people react to headlines. We've even seen it on sometimes headlines will hit on a particular study or a USPSTF guideline where there's a quick hit to a headline that has very little fundamental impact on the business over the next five years. Is it, I mean, yeah. but is it a move toward efficiency where we start writing uh, playbooks and, and theses uh, faster? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's efficient markets. It 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 may be. I think there's also you know, call it. I think there's some efficiency within that. I think there's. Even, I think there's a lot they call of it sell side for a too. reason. Yeah, you know, I'll give you an example. Earlier this year, the breast health guidelines were were modified. The USPST years ago had said women should wait till they're 50 for some of the mammograms. They came back to 40 because we found out a lot of women were getting diagnosed with, with breast cancer in their 40s. The morning that news came out, our stock was up like 6% in, in five minutes. Mm. You know, that's an over, it was positive for us, but it's an overreaction. So yes, there's efficiency, but I, I'm not sure it's as efficient as we might hope. How much competition do you see from some of these services that are offering, say, $2,500 to get your full body scan for cancer or another, other diseases that you might have? Is that a, a growing market in your estimation? Or? I, think it, I think it will be. You know, clearly that's a lot for the very high end. And, you know, that's a call more of a niche market. But anything that leads to increased diagnosis is great. The single best thing, and what I love about being at Hologic, is early diagnostics is a win for everybody. It's a win for the patient because we catch it earlier. It's a win for the healthcare system because it costs less. And so the more that we bring more science into diagnostics, so if you think about it, there's still a lot of art involved in medical diagnosis. And what we're trying to do between our enhanced imaging, whether it's in breast cancer, or our fibroid you know, testing, and as well as all of our molecular testing, it's bringing greater certainty so we're taking the guesswork out mm. And that will certainly create the great opportunities for the future.